The journey begins, the 102 miles, the Coxworld's way. The Coxwells is such a pretty little place of different little villages of limestone buildings. They really are really, really pretty. It really holds character and you can really sense how things haven't changed over decades. The hills can be quite hardy and you need to have some stamina for these hills but once you are up there it is breathtaking. It is a real sense of well-being, you just feel so nurtured, so connected, it is absolutely gorgeous. We've arrived now at Dover's Hill. Sheep being rounded in. <sighs> oh, wow. The farmer was rounding in the sheep, part of his everyday routine. It was such a joy to watch. As we approached Broadway Tower, just to the side you can visit the deers that graze on the land. It's worth going to have a look. And then we gently came back onto route and carried on on our journey. In Broadway we stopped off at one of the little cafes and had a nice hot chocolate and fresh coffee and then we continued our journey.
Dee had made friends with the young calf. He really took to her. There were some really old trees, I mean really old trees on this route. They are absolutely beautiful. It's such worth seeing them. This is one of Dee's other friends that she adopted on route. Bally Snap is en route on the Coxworlds. I was only here a few weeks ago, but it was really nice to reconnect to this sacred burial ground. We finally reached the trigger point on Cleave Hill. Again, it is absolutely breathtaking such worth going up onto these hills, so many paths to take. I thoroughly enjoyed this part as we entered the last part of our day on the Coxwells Way. To be continued, 25 miles completed. This is a 13th century church, Howells Abbey.